Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks, and what we have right here is the new Asus Transformer Book Flip. And why they call it Transformer Book Flip is because it has a flipping screen, so it's kind of adapting that yoga style design that uh, Lenovo championed on their yoga devices, so you can flip the screen all the way back. And in this case, we're talking about a 13.3 inch uh, panel right here that is a full HD screen and an IPS panel too, so you get pretty good viewing angles. Um, they're running a demo right now, so I can't really play around with the screen. Um, the whole thing is Intel Core i3, i5, or i7 base. It weighs in at 1.75 kilograms, so it's kind of heavy for a 13.3 incher, uh, but it's also more of a consumer device, so it's not that high end. Uh, you get what feels like a metallic cover on top right here. The bottom is definitely plastic. I can feel it uh, being warm. Uh, you have a decent sized keyboard right there. There's pretty big, there's a pretty big, big bezel down here, that, but that's probably to accommodate uh, for the hinge and to make the whole thing fit right there. You get up to eight gigs of onboard memory. Uh, RAM right there, you have 128 gigs of SSD storage and uh, a standard hard drive up to one terabyte in here. Um, what else is there to say? We have an NVIDIA graphics chip on board, so that's the GTA 20M. Uh, more of a low-end solution, depends on how, what you want to do with it and you will have to see how good that actually works out. Um, the top is covered in aluminum, so we showed you this device from the FCC earlier on. Um, the whole thing is a mixture of plastic and aluminum, actually. Uh, let's take a quick look tour around the device. We have the DC in right there. That's the HDMI full-size port right there. You get two USB 3.0 ports right there. That's the headset jack. Pretty much nothing on the front, and as you can see, it is not the thinnest device. The whole thing is 22 millimeters thick, actually, except for on the front, there's nothing except for these three LEDs right here for the hard drive power and uh, the battery state. On the left, you get a power button, the volume rocker right there. This seems to be a Windows Start button, actually, so you have a Windows button right there. That's the SD card reader and the standard USB 2.0 port plus a can sync lock. Uh, I can't tell you anything about the price, but what I can tell you is that is this guy has a 50 watt hour battery, which should give you a pretty decent runtime of, I would guess, up to like seven hours or something. All right, so that's been a quick look at the Asus Transformer Book Flip TF300 at Compu TP300, TP300 at Computex 2014. I was rolled with Mobile Geeks, and if you want to see more videos like this, Subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and we'll see you later on. Bye.